They're needing help to prioritise the, the threat landscape out there. So what are threat actors doing? What are the new trends? What do they need to worry about? And how can they prioritise that? Because there is so much to worry about. So that's where some of our risk-based vulnerability management piece comes in. But the biggest challenge organisations are facing is around third-party risk. We're seeing threat actors be so many steps ahead. We've seen the Kaseya data breach, which really was a fourth party attack. Organizations don't yet have their third parties under control. Some organizations don't know who all their third parties are. They don't know how to prioritize the critical suppliers and then how to assess them. The traditional way is using questionnaires and asking those suppliers to give you that information, but that's time consuming. It's a point in time assessment and it lacks accuracy. So that's where we're helping organizations by helping them reduce some of that time and actually reduce some of that cost by using cyber risk ratings. The future for cyber is where it's where it's always been. Threat actors are always one step ahead. They move quicker than large organizations. And we're seeing that with breaches like Kaseya and a fourth party breach where organizations haven't even got third parties in line. The threat actors are already one step ahead of us. So we're definitely going to see, I think that explode. Ransomware is clearly problematic. And that's going to start affecting more and more organizations, particularly as the larger organizations put solutions in place that make it harder for those criminals to, to breach them and to affect them with that. And what we're seeing as well with cyber risk ratings is really how that's getting into every part of a, a business. Insurance companies are using these to decide your cyber insurance premiums. Your clients are using these to decide who they're going to work with. So actually understanding what your score looks like and who's using it to assess you, much like with credit ratings, they're, they're just a part of life that we accept. That's where the future of cyber is going.